been coming out to this house since I was about 18, I think. Going for long walks, bringing friends, lots of wonderful kind of gatherings and birthdays and, you know, lots of significant events have kind of happened here. The atmosphere here is, there's something about the, the, the combination of, of isolation, but also humans have probably lived in this landscape for thousands of years. There's Bronze Age ruins and, and signs of, of Bronze Age dwellings. And yet when you're here, you never see a soul. It really is surprisingly isolated. There is no electricity and there's no toilet, no bathroom. It's not the practical stuff that's so tough. You kind of get used to that and you embrace that because that's why you're here. But it's just the kind of battling with the elements and you're really in nature. And these four walls are barely standing. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, they're kind of crumbling in in the night. But also, I think the landscape is just imbued with a lot of magic. So in total, I think I spent about five weeks here. I'm not really sure, because time passes very differently when you're here. So I'd find myself spending a lot of time outdoors, and then when the lights started to go, I'd suddenly scurry around and get the fires lit, and get candles lit so that I wasn't in the dark. We did it up a bit for me to stay here. So we put in some curtains so that I didn't feel terrified at night. But the light would come through and I'd hear the birds and I would kind of wake with that, which is really wonderful. Get the kettle, cheat a little bit with the, with the little Cala gas stove, got my little bit of gas and make some tea or coffee and just kind of locked myself away and just worked. I think I've learned through lots of friends and other artists that it's fine if you don't have a complete formula for how you create. But that was also part of coming here, was trying to embrace that and not have the pressures of daily life in a city and that kind of schedule. I was pretty free here in a way, had the limitations of nature and no electricity and things, but actually could do what I wanted with my day. Depending on my mood, it could be pretty terrifying being out here in the middle of nowhere on your own. I probably stayed out here about five or six nights in a row as a longest stint. Night times were quite tough sometimes. Sometimes I was kind of like praying for the sun to come up and be able to get working again and go outside. It requires maybe sometimes a slower pace to take in all of the different meanings. There's lots of layers. The house on a hill came to be a very direct and specific inspiration for much broader themes that I think I've always been thinking about since I was a kid, since before we even had this house. So I was here and then suddenly I was in downtown Manhattan to record the album. From old Yorkshire to New York. It was just very quick and very free, and I hope that you can hear that in the performances. They're very, they're very raw and just kind of fresh. So I chose to make the record with a friend and incredible mind and musician, Thomas Bartlett. I mean, he's worked with Sufjan Stevens, being one of my favourite artists, and Father John Misty and Glenn Hansard and. No, I think there were some quite interesting transatlantic kind of cultural exchanges as well. And I don't like to have too much production on a record. And he really rose to that challenge and I knew he would, so that's why I wanted to do it. I didn't want loads of beats or like sounds everywhere. So a little bit like the songs and, and the layers of metaphor, there's lots of very subtle layers of instrumentation in the record. As the process evolved, we realised that we weren't really going to bring any musicians in. A bit like me being here, we just kind of ferreted away and just into the late hours often and just layered everything up ourselves. And then I flew out my one main collaborator, Jordan Hunt, and he's playing fiddle and singing on it as well. And it's just the three of us on, on the whole record. And the nice thing about this process is that it was mostly really challenging but the moments when ideas did fall into place it felt really clear especially the title track and house on a hill those two songs which are in a way the most obvious 
songs that came from being here. And in a sense, are almost a homage to this place, not just this building, but the whole place and the landscape. Kind of hoping that some of this was somehow distilled in, in the songs. I worked on a lot of them here, and a lot of them were written here, so I think it coloured the whole record. There's kind of an almost austerity to some of the writing, but there's also, I hope it's very expressive and is kind of just channeling without trying too hard what it felt like being here.